This video will tell you how I started the blog about puppies and transitioned that blog into a real brand and business that now almost passively generates me 15,000 euros in profit each month or in other words a little more than $17,000 in profit each month. So I started this puppy blog in 2011 while being in my second year of college where I studied business economics in the Netherlands. This website wasn't the first and last website I created. I created tons of websites in the process and failed with most of them. I started this puppy blog because I was interested in making money online like many others. It wasn't that I had any experience in dog training besides the books I've read about dogs and dog training. I read books about dogs because I always wanted a dog when I was younger but my parents sadly didn't. I wanted a dog for myself and started reading about it. So in short I started a blog about dogs because that was what I felt most interested in at the time. I created my WordPress website myself by reading blogs and tips online on how to do it. I also had a little help from a friend who had more experience in creating websites. Furthermore, I read a lot about search engine optimization to rank my website higher in Google. And every time I read about a tip I thought that could help me, I immediately implemented it and sometimes it helped and sometimes it didn't. I remember a class in college where we talked about Google and how to rank in Google and I remember that I already knew more than the teacher about the subject. Which was pretty frustrating at the time. The teacher had no real experience with ranking a website besides the stuff she read in the book for that particular class. As said in the beginning, I created this website in 2011 and published 20 or so articles on it. I learned about keyword research and the importance of a highly optimized page for Google. I created blog posts based on the keywords I found to rank in Google on those specific terms. After a year or so I added Google AdSense to the website and my first payment of Google AdSense came in July 2013. I received 72 euros from Google. After I added Google AdSense to the site I pretty much left it there and moved on to other things. I was always on the lookout for different or better ideas while I was still in college. During those years in college I read so many blogs and listened to so many hours of podcasts about entrepreneurship and making money online. I wanted it so badly that I constantly started new projects. I don't know it exactly but I think I pursued around 15 or 20 different project ideas and only one of them is still active today which is my puppy blog that transitioned into a real brand and business. I don't want to go into all these different ideas I've had but I think it's fun to name at least one of them. Maybe I make another video in the future where I talk about all my failed projects. One of the projects I was working on was my movie websites. In my third year of college or so I talked to my sister about how easily I could create a website and rank it on Google. And she came up with the idea to create a movie website. I'm a big movie fan so I was thrilled. I immediately researched the possible keywords and I found specific keywords like movies of 2014, movies of 2015, etc. These keywords in combination with the year had a massive number of searches on it. I already knew the importance of finding untapped keywords, meaning finding keywords with less competition on it. I bought domains with these keywords in it, like films 2014, films 2015 and so on. Long story short, I made several movie websites and added Google AdSense to it. My best month was July 2014 and I made close to 1000 euros from AdSense in one month. I kept putting my effort into my movie blogs for the upcoming years up until 2017 I think. So you must know that I pursued many different business project ideas during my college years of 2010 to 2014. Meaning I lacked focus which can be a big problem. My puppy blog was still somewhat the same and earned me a couple of hundred euros each month. It's funny because I still have my notebooks like the 5 minute journal from the beginning of 2014. And if you're not familiar with the 5 minute journal this notebook helps you to focus on the things you find important and to be present in the moment. One of the things the notebook asked you to write down was your biggest challenge. In January 2014 I wrote that I wanted to have a business that generates 1000 euros of profit each month so I wouldn't have to work for someone else when I graduated from college in July of 2014. And it's so funny and strange at the same time reading my notes from 6 years ago. 
I really feel the desire in my words I write to have the freedom to make up my own days and decide how I spend my days. One of the pitfalls was that I wanted it so badly I pursued many different projects simultaneously which meant dividing my time across all the different things. I was working on my puppy blog and my movie websites. I started a consultancy business to help lawyers with internet marketing and worked on other projects all at the same time. I did all of it to not work for someone else after I graduated. In July 2014, I graduated and earned my bachelor's degree in business and economics. I immediately and officially started my business. My movie websites and my puppy blog made me a little more than a thousand euros each month. Besides that, I was helping a few companies with their internet marketing. I also created a few websites for others and of course at the same time trying to build and improve all the other project ideas I had in mind. Furthermore, my long last dream came true of me adopting a puppy of my own. On October 4, 2014, we brought our golden retriever puppy home. Because of me working from home, I could easily combine this with taking care of the new puppy. Long story short, unfortunately, my entrepreneurship venture didn't last long. After one year, I made the hard decision to apply for a job since none of my side hustles really took off. Somewhere in July 2015, I started applying for a job. I found a job in a couple of weeks as an internet marketing consultant at an internet marketing consultancy firm in the Netherlands. And if it weren't for my bachelor degree in business and economics and my experience in online marketing, what I already had, I wouldn't have found such a perfect job for me this fast. When I got hired, we agreed that I was building my own business and needed one day off during the week to work on that business. This arrangement was fantastic and needed. I now had the luxury of having a decent income while making long-term decisions regarding all my side projects instead of focusing on those short-term goals. When looking at all my side projects when I got the job, I saw that my puppy blog had the most traction and the most potential. Remember, I still didn't do anything to the blog besides building an email list, having some Google AdSense on the website and added a puppy training book from someone else as affiliate income. Google AdSense and affiliate marketing only resulted in like 200 euros per month or so. But while I didn't spend much time on a blog, it did receive around 10,000 website visitors each month. Looking back, what I'm going to share with you now is the most crucial part of me finding success in making money online. I decided to go all in on one particular project. All in. Before I took this decision, I thought to myself, what am I going to do now? Am I continuing the path with my puppy blog or will I let it bleed out and focus on something entirely different? Well, I chose to focus on it and after a long time, it paid off. Reading back my old notes from me working at my 9 to 5 job inspires me. I went all in on this specific project and I kept at it. I didn't stop. I think it helped that I adopted a puppy back in 2014 and I knew how hard it was raising him. We have had so many unanswered questions while going through the process of the puppy growing older. I started a puppy training podcast for my puppy blog when I started working my 9 to 5 job as an internet marketing consultant. I invited dog training experts and veterinarians for the podcast. And I didn't just randomly ask anyone, of course. I thoroughly vetted their credentials before interviewing them. And after a while, I changed the name of my website to a more brandable name. At first, the domain name of my website was focused on a certain keyword. And it didn't sound like a real brand. And my goal was to create a real brand. And after that, I made the decision to develop my own puppy training ebooks because the books out there lacked some crucial information. On a side note, me working as an internet marketing consultant helped me make better decisions for my side projects. I learned how to do Google Ads, social media ads, and I learned a lot more about search engine optimization and many more things related to online business. After a lot of research and interviews with dog experts, my first ebook went live on July 19, 2016. Designing and writing this book cost me a little more than 7 months. 
After my first ebook, I made plans to create three more ebooks. And I now knew how to assemble the content of the ebook, design the ebook, and write an ebook. So again, I wrote and designed my first ebook in around seven months. And my next goal was to write and publish the following three ebooks in three months. And I remember these days were pretty tough because I still had my 9 to 5 job four days a week. My alarm went off each day at 5 a.m. so I had the time to write my book before going to my 9 to 5 job. At lunchtime I ate my lunch and kept writing my book. And when I came home I did the same. In the months February, March and April of 2017 I wrote, designed and published three new ebooks. I paid dog experts for answering my questions and based upon their answers I wrote my books. In the first year with only one ebook I made 1600 euros. In my second year with three new ebooks I made 21,000 euros. So after April 2017 I wrote and published four ebooks. In my notes of March 2017, I see that I wrote that day I needed to come up with different ideas to make more money because I only earned 16 euros on average with my puppy blog. And after my fourth book launch, I see another note of May 5, 2017 that I had a record day in sales with my books. 170 euros of sales in one single day and that felt amazing. So I now worked for almost two years as an internet marketing consultant at the marketing agency. What's pretty funny, one of the things you need to write down in a 5 minute journal is a daily affirmation. You write down what you want in your life and the idea is to write that down every morning. Every time you write a daily affirmation, you prime your brain to start building this belief in your mind. So from the beginning of 2017, my daily affirmations were something like I will quit my job by June 15 and will focus my 100% attention to grow my online puppy training business to 150 euros per day. On March 22, for example, I wrote I have 86 more days left to go from 40 euros per day to 144 euros per day. That was my goal. So June 15 was the last day of my contract. I was offered two times a one year contract. And June 15 was the end of my second one-year contract at my 9-to-5 job. And I'm not sure how this works in other countries or how this works at the moment in the Netherlands, but back then employers in the Netherlands could only offer 24 months of fixed term contracts, in total to one individual. After that they either needed to offer me a permanent contract or end my contract and say their goodbyes. So from the beginning of 2017, I was really on a countdown to June 15. I still wasn't there yet with my revenue numbers, but I just wanted to work for myself so badly. It wasn't that I didn't enjoy working as an internet marketing consultant or that I didn't like my colleagues or employers, it's just that I wanted to start my own business instead of working for someone else. Then on April 24, both of my two employers called me in to speak about my contract. I was pretty certain that they would offer me a permanent job, so it was up to me to reject it. But instead of offering me a permanent job, they told me they wouldn't want to go further with me any longer. On the one hand I was happy, but on the other hand I wasn't. Rejection is never a positive thing to hear, despite that it would be the best thing for you in the long run. The reason they told me they didn't offer me a permanent position was because of my way of thinking didn't align with their future vision of the company. I remember that day when I drove back home. I screamed so hard of enthusiasm and excitement. Now is the time to shine, I said to myself. This is it. This is the moment you've been waiting for so long. My last day at my 9 to 5 job was June 15, 2017. At the time I lived in a rental house by myself and I was making around 60 euros per day with my puppy training business selling ebooks. But most importantly, I regained my freedom by being self-employed. Maybe some people don't see it this way, but I do. I just can't imagine working for someone else your entire life and I know this is not how everyone sees it. And that's alright, but this is how I see it. And maybe you're the same as I am. I want to have the freedom to help a family member during the day without me needing to ask my employer for free time. I want to visit my parents when they are on vacation to spend time together and I don't want to hear no, sorry Robin, we can't give you free time because you need to answer phone calls. 
I want to become financially independent rather sooner than later. And I want to do this by creating invaluable products and helping other people. Right now, two and a half years later in 2020, I went from making 60 euros per day in revenue to 500 euros per day in profit with my puppy training business. I went from having no knowledge about investing to saving and investing around 80% of my income. Furthermore, instead of having four ebooks, I have published paperbacks and audiobooks of my four puppy training books as well. Additionally, my books and paperbacks and audiobooks are not only available in the Netherlands, I translated them from Dutch to English, allowing a worldwide audience to read my puppy training books. So again, I went from earning 60 euros per day or 1800 euros in revenue per month with my online puppy training business to now making 15,000 euros in profit every month. It's crazy to see what can happen in a few years of dedicated work. Never ever I could earn and save and invest this much as I do now if I applied for another job somewhere else. And most importantly, never ever would I have the free time and flexibility in my daily and weekly schedule as I do have now. And this is where I am today. I have automated most of the processes of my online puppy training business and I have assistants answering emails and doing social media. Of course, I still need to put some time and energy into it, but it's mostly to maintain the steady growth of the business. Now I invest most of my time starting this YouTube channel to spread the word of my experiences, what I've learned so far and what I'm currently doing and learning. I'm not sure yet what my precise mission is here on YouTube, but looking back four years at all my notes, I know how badly I wanted to be self-employed and have the flexibility and income and free time. I know for a fact how being a digital entrepreneur can help you grow in every sense of the word. I would like to help you if you were in the same position I was back in 2014, 2015, 2016 and 2017. I know it is possible for you to become successfully self-employed online. The question is, do you believe in it yourself too and do you want it badly enough? Since this video is already pretty long, I'm gonna leave it at that. Please click the like button if you find this video of any value before you go. If you didn't find any value in this video then please let me know as well as I would like to know whether or not I'm doing a good job here. Also please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this video. You can also let me know what situation you're in right now and what your goals are. Are you currently working towards something? I would love to give you some tips and since I don't have any subscribers yet to my YouTube channel you have my full attention. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking that big red subscribe button so you won't miss my next video. Every Monday and Thursday there's a new video where I share my thoughts on bread making subjects. Another last thing, if you want to know how I build an email list of more than 25,000 email subscribers with my online dog training business, make sure to download this free 5-page ebook where I share my 3-step formula to 100 daily email newsletter signups. Having an email list really helped me get started back then and I still rely on my email list to get daily sales. There's a link to the free ebook in the description below. So that's all I got to say for today. Stay hydrated, stay healthy and good luck with your journey to earning the daily bread for you and your family so you can become fully self-employed too. Thanks for watching my video brothers and I'll see you next time.